I've, when I learned this, I had a big problem with how this was explained. So let me do my best to explain it the way that I was able to understand it. You have heard many times that the electric field inside of a conductor is zero. But what they mean by that is the net electric field inside of a conductor is zero. Okay, there is electric field inside of a conductor. There's in fact multiple electric fields inside of a conductor and they are set up in a way very specifically to cancel. So what is a conductor? A conductor is different because one or more of the electrons per atom are free to roam. That means that for a perfect uh, conductor, unlimited amount of free charges. Charges can come and go as they want. There's nothing then keeping them down. So we, if we have just a bunch of bunch of free charges in here. So we're just gonna have a bunch of free charges. Look at them, they're everywhere. So the electric field comes through. Now, yes, the electric field is gonna come over. We got some different colored chalk. Actually, it's gonna be perpendicular to the surface. So let's try to do that a little cleaner, I guess. And it's not that it's going to go to zero. It actually goes through the inside of the conductor. Okay, and then continues on its merry way. Okay, now, here's the thing, is once the electric field goes through and you have these charges inside that can move, what you get is an arrangement of charges on the, what do I have? Oh, let's do green, I guess. For that. Oh, I need something a little bit brighter. Let's do purple. Yes, purple looks good. So now what's going to happen is you're going to have a bunch of charges ride on this electric field. So you'll get a bunch of minus, if the, if the electric field is going this way, you'll get a bunch of minus charges form on this surface and a bunch of plus charges form on this surface. Okay, now the free electrons and char or the free charges are going to move in such a way so that very specifically, now you have an electric field inside. Did I do that right? I think it's correct. You have an electric field that goes backwards. I thought electrons go against, yeah, electrons go against the, the uh, and positive charges, yes, there we go. And it always goes, f ah, away from the positive charges. They're correct, okay, cool. Now, listen, the, the cool thing is, is you always get exactly enough charges on the surface here to cancel the electric field that's going through it. So the blue electric field is this external one that goes like this, and these charges are going to ride the electric field lines in the ways they want to. We always have the positives ride it with the electric fields and the negatives ride it against it. So the electrons or the negative charges are going to line up on this side of the, condu of the uh, conductor. The positive charges will line up on this side of the conductor. And then there's going to be a ch uh, electric field going from pi plus to minus in such a way exactly that the E total is going to equal the electric field from uh, <clears throat> the external and the electric field from the internal. From the induced charges is what we call them. Let's just do a white plus here, not to be confusing. Yes, so there we go. So yes, yeah, so the conductor does have a net electric field inside of zero, but it is from these induced charges that create a field in the opposite direction.